How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can bring in your YouTube stream chat when you're streaming on Streamlabs OBS because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So hopefully some of these workarounds will help you guys on whatever situation you run into. Now, I did make a similar video on how to do this on the OBS studio. So if you guys also stream over there, definitely go ahead and take a look at that video. It'll be in the video description below. So first things first, we got to set everything up for our layout. But before we do our layout, I want you guys to see something. So as you can see, I've been messing with it, you know, testing and everything like that. The stream chat may still show up on the side here for wherever you guys are actually wanting to read your chat. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. This workaround will also help you guys with that situation. Just wanted to let you guys know. So what you're going to want to do is set up your layout. So this is how I have my layout for the layout editor. So if you click on that little like window looking thing, the four boxes here on the left hand panel, you're going to want to set it up to where either the chat's going to be on the left or the chat's going to be over on the right. I like to have the chat on the left because of the monitor that I put it on. But you're going to want to then fill in this website area. So you're going to take this website and you're going to make it one of the uh, panels things that you're going to be viewing. So kind of customize it however you want. I don't use the mini feed, so I got rid of the mini feed and I, you know, substituted it with the website. So once you have that, what you're going to want to do is then go to the stream and you can either do that here or you can do that inside of the editor thing right here. So what we're going to want to do is pop out the chat. So if you take the chat here and then you go and pop it out, you're going to take this link up top and you're going to do control C and then we're going to go back to here in Streamlabs OBS, do control V as in Victor and then hit save changes. So now what you just did is you just brought the chat in here. Again, it still might be over here, but now that you have it here, that's one way to being able to display the chat all the time if that other one breaks. Now what we're gonna do is try doing a chat box. So we'll add in the chat box widget and we'll just hit done. And then let's go ahead and just test it. So we'll just do a couple dots and we'll see if it shows up. If it doesn't show up, what I've kind of done in the past here, there it goes, it's a little delayed. If it doesn't show up, you can always do right click, properties, go to source, go to refresh the cache of the current page, hit done, and then try it again. But that is how you'll be able to at least get that to show up there. The other option, if you guys want to, is a browser source. So I've done a video on browser source before, which I will throw up in the card above. But essentially, it's you just paste in the link. So we'll take this link out of here. We'll do another control V as in Victor. And then we'll hit done. Now, what this does here is it gives you the exact replica of what's on the left hand side over here on the right hand side. Now, if you don't want this, what you can do is either take alt on the keyboard and drag down with your mouse to delete some things. You can also do that on the sides. You can do that on the bottom. That way you're just getting the box that you want, right? And then you can just kind of move this stuff around, resize it however you want. Now, if you don't like that, you can right click, go to transform, and then you can go and reset the transform so that way it's back to normal. But then you can go and right click on it. And you can go down to filters. You can click on here. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if they have the filter. I don't know if they have it anymore. Where is it? There you are. Crop and pad. I'm blind. <laughs> so you're just going to crop the sides. So, you know, you can add the numbers you want. And then you can see that it's slowly starting to move it. So let me move this guy out of the way so you guys can see it a little better. So if I go to the top and if I add in, like, let's say 50, it just took some off the top. If I go over to the right, add another 50, it just took off some of the side. And that's another way of adding a filter to it if you wanted to not use the alt and drag option. So you can kind of mess with that as well. And that's pretty much how you'll be able to get the chat to be wherever it is. Hold on. Wait, I don't mean to disturb the rest of the video. But during editing, I realized I forgot to say something. And this is important. So if you plan on doing any of the things that I mentioned in this video, just know that you're going to have to do this process every single time you stream because the URL for your chat is always different every time you go live on YouTube. So 
just want to put that out there. If you guys know a workaround for it, let me know and I will test it out. And if it works, I will share it with other people. But for right now, this is the only thing that I know that you have to do every time you want to use this method. Just thought I would mention that. I mentioned that in the OBS video, the other one, but I forgot to mention it in this one. But yeah, just want to let you guys know. Carry on. Carry on with the rest of the video. So if you want to have it on the side, cool. You got an option to have it on the side. If you want to have a browser source because Chatbox wants to be a derp and not want to work, cool. Then we can go ahead and use a browser source. But maybe you want to have a chat box all the time. Chatbox still works too. So you can do that as well. So I mean, all the options still work. It's just however you want to go and set it up. But hopefully this helps you guys with trying to figure out how to get your YouTube chat to show up if it breaks. Um, if you have any questions or run into any problems, you can always reach out to me in the comments. You can always reach out to me in the Discord. In the Discord section, there is a whole streaming section where there's an area where you guys can post your stream help questions there. So I do recommend you guys doing that. That way I can talk to you that way too. But if this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys all in the next video or in my next YouTube stream. Take care.